Your doctor has recommended that you undergo hip replacement surgery, but what does that actually mean? The hip joint is the place where the thigh bone, called the femur, and the hip bone, called the pelvis, meet. As you walk, the ball-shaped end of the thigh moves within a cup-like depression on the side of the hip. As long as the thigh can move smoothly against the hip, you are able to walk comfortably. But over time, especially in patients who suffer from arthritis or rheumatism, the hip joint can wear down. Cartilage, the tissue that cushions the bones and makes it possible for them to move smoothly against each other, can wear away. When this happens, the bones rub together, causing pain and even restricting the ability to walk. In some cases, hip surgery is recommended for people who have suffered a hip fracture. No matter what the cause, one of the most effective ways to fix a damaged hip is to replace it surgically. In this procedure, the ball-shaped bone at the top of the thigh is removed and replaced with a metal substitute. The hip socket is widened and lined with a smooth pad that allows the metal ball joint to move more freely against the pelvis. Hip replacement surgery is a major operation, but your doctor believes that the procedure, followed up with physical therapy and time to heal, will result in reduced pain and greater mobility. On the day of your operation, you will be asked to put on a surgical gown. You may receive a sedative by mouth, and an intravenous line may be put in. You will then be transferred to the operating table. In the operating room, the anesthesiologist will begin to administer anesthesia, probably general anesthesia by injection and inhalation mask. The surgeon will then apply antiseptic solution to the skin and place a sterile drape around the operative site. Then when you are asleep, the surgical team will make an incision over the hip and along the thigh. The team will pull the skin aside to reveal the muscle tissue below. They will then make another incision to reveal the hip joint. Next, the team pulls the top of the thigh bone out of the hip socket. Using a precision surgical saw, your doctor will carefully remove the ball-shaped end of the thigh bone. Then the surgical team will use a high-speed drill to hollow out the top of the thigh bone. A specially fitted artificial ball joint slides into the top of the thigh bone. Next, your doctor will smooth the inner surface of the hip socket. Once the hip socket has been thoroughly cleaned, the artificial lining will be secured and placed with special screws. The artificial ball joint is turned inward and fit into the socket. The team carefully checks to make sure that it fits and allows the full range of normal motion. Muscle and other tissues are closed over the joint using dissolvable stitches. A temporary draining tube may be added. Finally, the skin is closed with sutures and protected with sterilized strips.